Uh, we've been uh, talking all this morning about how prices have been changing in the shop. Sean's got real details. Morning. Yeah, it's a bit of a confusing picture at the minute. Going down recently, going up in the, in the future. Good morning, everybody. So, yeah, in a nutshell, we've had falling prices over the last year or so, but we're at the point where people are expecting them to start rising. Now, these figures that are out this morning show how much we've benefited from lower oil prices, supermarket price wars, all of that, despite that talk of prices going up in the coming months. Now, overall shop prices were ne nearly 2% lower in October than the same month last year. Now, if you drill down into that, food prices were 1.2% lower than a year ago, and that's on the back of that grocery store battle going on, trying to get you to do your weekly shop with them. In non-food, though, that's everything from clothes to homewares, electrical goods, they were 2.1% lower. And there's been lots of sales in the shops this year, and we heard from that retailer Next this morning. All of that has been helping push prices down. So price is lower for the moment, but the retail, British Retail Consortium, who put all these figures together, they say it thinks prices could start creeping up in the new year. So where do we go now? Well, let's speak to Phil Durrell. He's a retail expert from Retail, and, uh, retail Remedy. Phil? Good morning. How do the two things balance? Lots of falling prices up until, until now, but people expecting 4% rises next year? Yeah, there's definitely opposing forces at place uh, at present. We've got, um, obviously, the fuel prices affecting everything, and then Brexit has affected the uh, weakening pound, which means that the goods that we're importing into the UK to sell and the ingredients that we're importing to the UK to make products to sell uh, are incredibly more expensive. And you'd think that that would be working its way through to shop prices going up. But the way it's working is the fact that retailers are very, very nervous about the golden quarter, the final push towards Christmas, and are not really wanting to put prices up just yet. So might, we might be holding on to the new year for that. If we look at what we've been talking about this morning, jumpers or, or your food basket yeah. shop, which of those are more likely to go up first, do you think? Um, that's a very good question. I would think that the food prices are the ones that are more immediately affected by, uh, by price. Uh, the the non-food goods are purchased at a longer lead time, and so there's probably quite a reserve of those going on in the marketplace at present. I think that there are predictions that next year that inflation could get to 4%, and it's unlikely that's going to be an immediate switch on. Uh, the, there'll be a tipping point, probably post-Christmas. There'll be some movement towards Christmas where inflation goes up. Post-Christmas and New Year, retailers will have to abide by the suppliers screaming for more prices increases and the prices will go up from then to a point a maximum of 4% next year. So why is it at the minute we had that supplier retailer yeah. battle didn't we between Unilever who yeah, and Marmite absolutely. and all those kind yeah. of things and Tesco um, but yet we've heard that a lot of those Unilever products have actually gone up in price in a lot of supermarkets but it's different in different supermarkets. Why are they able to do different things? I think that the, there's always an ongoing negotiation between the suppliers and the retailers to when they're going to affect a price increase. Uh, the suppliers will be very nervous going to their retailers and saying, listen, all these goods are going up. You're going to need, we're going to need to start charging you more money. The retailers are in a price war. They don't want to put prices up unless everybody can put the prices up. And obviously we have, there's no cartel, so they can't do that. So it, it's, a, it's a to and fro negotiation, and that's going to continue all the way through to, to the new year, I'm afraid. And just on next, we had those results yeah. from them this morning. Their sales in their stores down in the last few months. I mean, it seems if, if next aren't able to get their sales increasing, who can? Uh, Next are one of the finest players uh, in the UK on fashion, there's no doubt about it. And they normally get things very well uh, with reference to their, to their buying patterns. Um, but even they've been caught out. The weather has been unseasonably warm for the last, you know, for the last three months, really. And I think that that's caught a lot of people out uh, in the marketplace. And next year, and this Christmas, it, we're going to see the, the outcomes of that, where people are struggling to make the profit they thought they would. Bill, thank you very much. So it looks like we'll be waiting until Christmas and that it might be after then that the price rises really start kicking in the stores. Very what, good to know. What can we say to that? Our last cheap Christmas. <laughs> Thank okay. you with that lovely thought. <laughs> there you go. That's prepared you for the, for the festive <laughs> season. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, now, with a budget of 100